Yeah. Can you see my screen now? Can you see my screen? Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. Welcome tomorrow. Afternoon. All right. I think we we stopped at uh is what number five. Yeah, that's where we stopped. Number five. Okay, so tell me the numbers you're having problems with. Sikra, Hello? what numbers what numbers are you having problems with? Number what, what and what? I think his uh his problems are substituting the value when you have like a, like a number two. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Ali, what numbers were your? Uh, do you have problems with? Uh, to be honest, from ten to twenty-two, I'm so confused. I did that's, some of them. I was yeah. I want you to show me the rules when we have word problem, how to solve it. Okay. Did you watch that video I was telling you about? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Okay. So it means we just go through it together, everything together. Okay. All right. So on this, it says evaluate. They gave me that. Okay. After they came, we can take a bar by the All right, secret. So this says evaluate the expression for n equal to negative three. So this is the expression. This is quite simple and straightforward. So this is expression, n is negative three. So where n is, you can see the expression is already a negative in front of n. So you put that negative there, then the n is a negative three according to this, okay? So that will be negative three plus the nine. And for this, this is a parenthesis. You have to open up this parenthesis so what you do is a negative times a negative, it gives you a positive. So that's positive three, positive nine. And what is positive three, positive nine? That will give you what? A 12. Do you see this? Yeah. Okay. Ali, I'm sure you, you, you got this, right? Yes. Okay, good. So here, Sikra, do you want to try this by yourself? Which one? Number seven. Okay, do number seven, Sikra. Okay. Everybody die, pain, Write it down and do it. Anybody die. Yeah. Number seven. Yeah. 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 It's okay, you're doing good. Doing good. Nice. Okay. Thank you, five, eight. What is this? Okay. Five. Mm -hmm. D. And D. What is that? There it is. One. Okay. One thank you. No, no, no. You write your answer, silly. Where would you? Uh, he's doing number seven. Yeah. I get negative twenty-four. So his answer is oh. one. You got one. Yeah. Uh, Ali, can you try that again? Thank you.
I get one. Yeah, good. Good. Thank you. Secret. Good, good job. Good job, everyone. So here you do this is x equal to three. So you put it in here. So that'll be negative eight plus three in parentheses three. So that's a negative eight plus three times three is nine. Okay, and a negative eight plus nine will give us, we're gonna subtract one and the sign will take the sign of the bigger number, which is what positive. So that's a positive one. Okay, did anyone do this number eight? Yes. Uh, he's, he's, he's doing it now, once again. Okay. Can you do it, what, what, can you do it again? Yes, I have oh. to do it again. It looks like I do it wrong. Let me do it again. Right. Try, try again. David, I come tomorrow evening. So, um, Miss Blessing. Yes. So here I helped him just a little bit with this. Um, we come to it, with sicker, minor <laughs> with the with the with the multiplication. That's all. Okay. We come to our main packing thing. All right. Ali, are you done? Yeah, but I don't know if it's the right answer. I get forty six point five. No, you shouldn't get forty six. You shouldn't get a whole number. Mm -hmm. Okay, because see now, I think the, the you you you're confusing some. Anyway, most students do. There's mm -hmm. a there's a difference between evaluate and simplify. Are what you with me? That, yeah. What does that mean? Uh, simplified means minus. Simpl it's just um, this is algebra. You have um, uh, you have variables. Simplify it to the least uh, bearable term. Like arrange it, open up the parentheses if there's any parentheses, and arrange it. <clears throat> Are you with me? That is simplify. But ever and in simplify, you will not see, um, you will not see this like put x equal to a number. Are you with me? So x will still be in your answer, your final answer in simplify. But for evaluate, you see it will say where x, you are substituting the values of the variables into the expression and you are going to get a whole number, okay, for evaluate. But simplify it, you should not get a whole number. Let, let's do this together. So this is 3x, in par uh, 3 parentheses, x plus 4 plus half, in parentheses, 8x minus 6. So this is three times, you know, uh, I hope you remember distributive property, the video. I hope you watch, you watch that video on distributive property. So you do three times X, it gives you three X. You do three times four, it gives you what? Positive four. It gives you a positive what? Twelve. You do the same thing also for this half outside this parenthesis. Okay. Because it is whatever that is outside, immediately outside the parenthesis, that's what you use to open the parenthesis. So here you have a positive half. So a positive half times 8x, what would that give us? That would give us what? A positive um, half. How, how would I put this? Okay. 
let's let's just times 8x okay then you have positive half times negative six it will be a negative the signs when the signs multiply positive times uh negative will be a negative and you put your half times six so from here we can drop this as 3x plus 12 there's nothing else to do here but here we have to do something this is half times 8x so two would cancel out remember multiplication this is just saying this is the same thing as saying 8x divided by 2 where 2 would go in 8 how many times four times right you will you cancel out your 2 it will give you 1 and 4 times x is what 4x so this will give us what plus 4x then here you have your negative down then this is the same thing as um, you know, when you're multiplying fractions, I hope you remember, 2 here, 1, and 2 in 6 will give us 3. So we have 3. Do you see that, Ali? Yes. Okay, good. So from here, we don't stop because we're simplifying the expression. So let us collect like terms. Okay? Now, you can see this term is the same as this term how do i know always put the sign okay this is positive 4x all right always take it together with the sign how do i know that it is the same term because x here and x here their power is one this power of x here is one so they are the same term if this was x raised to square and this was just you know just x you know when you see x alone it means x is raised to the power of one there's an invisible one in maths we don't put the one because x raised to the power of one is x do you see that yeah but i have a question uh the like term if three uh, if negative x uh, negative three x and positive three uh, uh, four x is still the same even if this uh, signs is different negative and positive yes you're looking at the variable you are looking at the power of the variable they are like terms that they, they are not the same no you do you don't use the same they are like terms in the sense that the variables have the same powers uh, are you with me yeah if See, have, are you following if they have the same power like x have one and and uh, yes you can x have one also if three x yes. to the second power and then four x to the second power that this is the like term doesn't matter if they have negative or positive yes it doesn't matter okay all right so you have here now this is a positive you know you remember now, when you don't see a sign in front of a number, it means it's positive. Okay? So this is a positive 3x. This is a positive 4x. So we can combine these two to become one because they are like terms. So positive 3 plus positive 4x will give us what? A positive 7x. All right? Now, also, we can combine this positive 12 and this negative 3 because they are numbers. They are like terms. So we combine these two, all right? And what's a positive 12, negative 3? Ali, what's a positive 12, negative 3? Three, x plus 9. Okay, Sikra, you said is what? Three, x plus 9. Okay, positive 9, right? 9. 9. nine. nine. Plus nine. Yes. You get a positive what nine so we do positive nine we subtract and we take the sign of the bigger number so positive so our final answer here is seven x plus nine do you see that do you see that ali okay. yes, with you, yes all right i want you to i know there are no more there are no more more of those questions here so yeah i i have some here for you now okay 
I, I did watch this one in copy, I think. Yeah, this one, yeah. Two times I watch it. But when okay, uh, solve when, number one. Yeah, but the problem is when it comes with word problem, I get confused. Okay, but well, I want you to master this first. Can you simplify this? Which one? Secret? Uh, which problem? I want everyone to simplify. Let me pick the ones I want you to simplify. Simplify this. This. This and this. This four. Let's quickly do this now. This four.
it's hello. Yes, I'm with you. Okay, you said uh, two, five, six. Yes. Seven. Yeah. I finish. I want you to check. Okay. okay. Can you drop your 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 answers in the chat box? Sikra, what number are you on? Uh, he is doing number six. Negative one. No. Okay. So he's writing the answers in the chat. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it together. Ali, I can see your own answers. What do you get for here? For number two. Hello? Okay. Yes, I sent it. Why do you see have uh, nine? Uh, which one? Ali. Yes. One of two. Why do you still have nine? Nine is about two in your answer. And why is it 13? Why? No? Oh, no, no, it's not nine. I make a mistake with the computer. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you my answer is negative six y to the second power plus 13 y. Plus 13? Y, yeah. 13 y like this? Yeah. Oh, okay, no, this is, this is not right. You can see y stands alone. You can't combine y. Look, the eight here and this eight, they are numbers and they stay alone. Okay, so that will be positive 13, then plus Y. Y does not have any other person to combine with. If you see a particular term that doesn't have any other term to combine with, you leave it to stand alone. That are you with me? Yeah, the answer is right, only my mistake I'm supposed to do plus Y. Yes. Okay. Okay. It. So it's okay if a term doesn't have like a brother to combine with. It's okay. You leave it the way it is. Okay. You don't um you don't force it to another family member. All right. So here it is. Look at this. So this is three x. All right. We're opening this parenthesis. So this will be negative four multiplying the, we're going to distribute it into this parenthesis so that will be negative four times x that'll give us a negative four and a negative four times a negative nine negative times negative will be positive and four times nine is 36 okay so it means that these two we can combine them because they have the same variable you know there are two things you check i forgot to mention they must have the same variable all right. If this was X and this was Y, you can't combine them because they are different variables. All right. So once they have the same variable, the next thing you check is, are they the same power? Yes, they are. So we can combine these two as what one. So this is a positive three X, negative four X. We are going to subtract, which will give us a one. And the sign will take the sign of the bigger number, 
which will be what negative so that's negative x one x plus 36 and in maths we don't put the one here we just say negative what x plus 36 okay oh i get a different answer i get uh 3x plus 40 34. all right I how did you get uh how did you why how did you get 34. uh i did okay three times let me see what where i write it a uh, a minus the four from the thirty four uh, thirty six. Why? This is four x. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't you can't combine it with thirty six. Thirty six is a number. It's a constant. This term here, thirty six, is a constant. It doesn't have an x. You can only combine these two. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. All right, let's let's look at this one. Are you? I hope you're taking notes down. Yes. I hope. So. so this, we have to open up the parentheses by distributing. So this is one parenthesis. This is another parenthesis. Sikra, are you following? Yeah, he's trying. He's trying. He's. Uh, I'm making him do other problems. Because okay, he yeah. does jump on the steps, he does not do them sequentially. Oh, okay. So the first step here is to open up this parenthesis. So you do two times y, it gives us two y. Then we do two times eight, it gives us positive uh, a positive eight. It gives us a positive sixteen. Then the next we do positive three times y. It gives us a positive 3y and a positive 3 times a negative 7. It gives us a negative 21. Ali, did you get this in your first step? Yes, this is a get it right. Oh, no, no, you said 2y plus 16 plus 3. Oh, no. I guess something different. I get 2y. Uh, yes, 2y plus 16 plus 3y minus 21. Good. Yes. So from here now, what we do is we combine like terms. Sikra, are you following? The next step is to combine like terms. We can combine this 2y and positive what 3y. Okay, so we do 2y plus 3y. And we can combine the numbers, the constant, positive 16, negative 21. We bring them together. That's why we're collecting like terms. So that's positive 16 negative 21. All right, so from here, a 2y plus 3y is 5y. Then what is a positive 16, negative 21? Sikra, Ali. Negative five. Good, negative five. Okay, so this is our final answer. We can't simplify further. Oh, uh, wait, wait. That means we're not finished. We just... Oh, I thought I'm, I'm, I'm done when I did 2y plus 16 plus 3y negative 21. No, you're not done. Oh. Because you, you, still have, you still have like terms to combine. All right? You still have like terms to combine. Do you understand me? Yes, you did. Uh, you compound, then you get 5y minus, uh, no, negative 5. Okay, is it because maybe you're not having... Okay, uh, yeah, you can see it options. good. You're not, good. you're not having options. Maybe that's why. Done. No, no, I'm asking you for the final answer. You get 5y negative 5? Yes, that's the final answer. 5y negative 5. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. So, for number 7, 
Sikra, let's do, let's do, let's all see this together now. Look at this. So this is five. You put five. Then in front of this parenthesis, you can see we have a negative sign. Does everyone see that negative sign? Yes. We have to use this negative sign to multiply everything inside here. Uh, All right. Miss Blessing, if possible, yes. uh, I think what, uh, Srika's difficulty where if he sees, he was trying to do problem number one, where he sees just the x squared, he doesn't remember the coefficient is one. He, he, oh. he, so he messes it up. And then he okay. goes to the, like seven minus three is four, but he is adding x to the seven and messing it up. Oh, okay, I see. All right, so for here, okay there is because you have a negative here all right i i know most students will just open up the parentheses that way but in front of this parentheses with this negative here there's an invisible one are you with me sikra and ali right yeah it's a one always a one yeah ali are you are you with me okay so there's an invisible one here. So you do negative one times X, and that gives you a negative X. Add negative one times a negative seven. That will give us positive. Negative times negative is positive. So we do positive seven. Then we drop our plus five X. Then we collect like terms. We have, we pick the ones with the variables. We have Excuse negative, me. yes. Sorry, I want to ask a question. You said negative seven. You don't have to multiply five times negative seven to get this your five. Problem? This five? Yes. No. We don't no, have you, to. You, you shouldn't. Okay. Because this is, what will multiply this parenthesis is directly after it. Okay, you multiply you by the negative one. It, I mean, yes. Not by the negative five. By the five. No, it can't be by the five. Look, 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 oh, look no. at the expression. This okay. is five minus in parentheses x minus seven plus five x. This five is being separated from this parenthesis by this negative sign. Five cannot affect this parenthesis. Are you with me? Ali, are you there? Yes. This five can't multiply this parenthesis. The only thing that mul can multiply this parenthesis, it is what is by the side, what is exactly before it, what value is exactly before it. Are you with me? Yes, if it's positive five, it's the same thing. Come again? If it's positive five. If something here is positive, is it five? Yes, if it's five, multiply yeah. by. If you five. have a value here, five, yes. Look at, we, we've had situations like this. Look at what we also did. We have a negative four here. We multiplied it. We did negative four times X, negative four times negative nine. That's what we did for this one. Also here, immediately before the parenthesis is a two, we, do, we did two times this, two times this to open it up. But here, they, it's just a one that is here. This five is not attached to this to this parenthesis, so it cannot multiply it. Mm, okay. That means if I see any numbers before it, negative, it can multiply by like four or three. If it's five, negative. Yes, any number, 10, any 10 number. 11, 20, any number, as far as it is before, just directly attached to the parenthesis, you would use it to multiply, to distribute it. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yes. 
Karim. Okay. So, so from here we multiplied, we got this. We did negative one times this, and it gave us this. You can see that's why we dropped the five to stand alone. Okay, so we did negative one times x, we got negative x. Negative one times the negative seven, we got the positive seven. And this is a positive x, we dropped the positive x. Okay, so from here we collect, we combine like terms. So this is a negative x and negative five, we can combine. So we do it, we bring it together and a positive uh -huh, five x. Then this, we combine with this. This five here is positive. So we have positive five, positive seven. Okay, so from here, a negative x positive five, what would, it, what would it give us? Remember that when you have an x like this, there's an invisible one, Sikra. There's an invisible one, okay? See? So you are having a negative one x plus five x. What would that give us? Positive four. Good, positive four. Positive four x. Then a five plus seven will give us what? A positive 12. All right, so finally our answer is a positive four plus 12. Four x plus 12. Okay? Do we see that? So I want you to do this as homework and post it on the WhatsApp group. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this. I will drop this. Uh, let me, I hope you've written this. Can I clean this off for your see writing? Yes, I took screenshot. Okay. I will just, hold on. I will just drop this. Uh, these three questions on the group. Okay, so let's go back to, to the word problems we're looking at. So from number nine, we have this word problem. It says here, write an algebraic expression for this description. Use the variable P. The difference of a number squared and four divided by six. The difference of a number squared. What did you get, Sikra? What did you get for number nine? Okay, what did you get, Sikra? Read your answer. P squared minus five squared. Four. Five divided by six. Done. That was his answer. Come again? Say it again, Srika. P squared. Minus, minus four, four, four squared. Not squared. Four divided by, by six. Okay. Ali, what did you get? The same answer. But I forget the square. I get P okay. six, uh, four over six, but I didn't do the square. Okay. But don't forget it is squared here from the from the word. Okay. Uh why he put square because the difference? No, it says the difference of a number squared, a number. Let it says let the number be p. The number is squared. P squared, the a number squared, and the difference that's minus four divided by six okay okay because when i see it like written like that i get confused when i say the uh the difference in number squares i get confused what does they mean by the number so the number is what you are you, you are going to replace it say use the variable p so the number is the unknown 
is what is unknown. It's a variable that is unknown. And you've been told to use P, not X. Most okay. of the times, we always use the unknown number as X. But when it comes yes. to algebraic expression questions, they will say use S, use W, use R, use P. Are you with me? So here, we're told to use the unknown number as P. So the difference of the number, which is unknown, P is squared and 4 divided by 6. So difference between P squared and 4 divided by 6. Okay, let's look at more, more word problems down here. Okay, so look at number 10. Look at number 10, Ali. What, what, will, be the, what will be the answer? Uh, this is, I get confused, but I write it down. I did negative three parentheses, negative two, I close the parentheses, and then plus four, you know, plus the sign, close the parentheses. No, I'm talking about number 10. Yes, number 10. I just write it down. I don't get any answer. Let me write it down in the chat and I'll just see what, what did what, they why are you Why are you getting negative two? Okay. Uh, so we are you the Okay, so look at it closely. It says, write an algebraic expression for this description. Use the variable x. The sum of the square of a number. Let the number be x. Are you with me? So the square of the sum of the square of a number and five divided by nine. So the sum, okay, that will be, you have the number, what is the square of the number? The square of the number will be x squared plus five divided by nine. Okay, so that's what this expression means. The sum of the square of a number, which is x squared, plus and that is plus and five divided by nine. So this is what the expression will give. Do you get that? See, I hope everyone got that. Yes, now, uh, the first one I, I did it the same thing, but I thought I have to get, I I have to have an answer. No, no, you don't have to. It's, it's, it says write an expression. Okay. Write an expression, not not evaluate. It is now. Look at this now. This is evaluate. This is now for you to give an answer. So everyone, do this. Evaluate this quickly. Is it number eleven, Miss Blessing? Yes, number eleven. Okay, Srika.
Nine. Okay, Seeker, what did you get? This is the most difficult one for him. He putting the values, uh, so he's still working on that. It's very okay. hard. It's, uh, these kind of problems are difficult. Mark's angry. No, I'm not, silly. Seeker, are you done? What's your answer? Yeah. Five. Well, okay, five. Let's quickly do this because I have another class to hop into. Five. So here we have, this is negative, X is negative two, Y is positive four, Z is negative three. So let's put it here. So we have negative two in parentheses, four plus negative two in parentheses, negative three, then plus 10 over negative two, then minus uh, four, then parentheses negative three. 
So this times this will give us negative eight plus this times this will give us a negative six plus this divided by this will give us a negative five minus this times this will give us a negative 12. Do you see that? So we have to solve this now. That's why the video on, on uh, understanding um, integer sign numbers is very important, okay? So here we have, we open this parenthesis, that's positive times this negative will give us negative. So we have a negative eight, negative six. What would this give us? That would give us uh, a negative 14. Am I right? Ali, are you there? Sikra, am I right? Miss Blessing. Miss yes. Blessing, the, on the first line, negative two. Yes, you're right. Three is positive six. Oh, sorry. Positive. I'm sorry. So this is positive, okay? Sorry. So this is positive. So that's negative six now positive uh negative eight positive six will give us a negative two negative okay two. yeah thank you so much so yeah. this times this will be a negative five a negative two negative five will give us a negative seven right we add and we have this negative sign this will <clears throat> multiply negative to give us a positive so that'll be a positive 12. and here <clears throat> finally a negative seven positive 12, we're going to subtract so we get 5 and it's going to be a positive 5. Okay, so the answer to this is a positive 5. Do we see that? Ali, do you see that? Yes. <clears throat> okay, you can, you can write that on, uh, you know, the solution and also try on your calculator. Okay? <clears throat> okay, thank you. I see that we're having still having a lot of difficulty on this. All right. I'm can, we still can, going to... can we continue next Monday and Friday with these problems? Because this is important and confusing at the same time. Yeah, we, we're going to uh, finalize it on Monday. So what I want you to do is watch the videos again. OK. OK, watch the videos again. All for right. Day, for day 10, right? Yes, day 10. Let us watch the videos again. And I'm going to create more questions again. Okay? Okay. Uh, day 10 and day 8. How about Come 8? Ahead. You say day 10. Watch the video day 10 and day 8. The one is about no, no. The negative. Yes, yes. Those two. Okay. Yes. Those two. Day 10 and day 8, please. And I think All right. Uh, the substitution, this kind of substitution is, I don't know why it's difficult for him. <laughs> because it's algebra. Algebra is a bit uh, tricky. So, but let him watch again the 8, the 9, and 10. Yeah. I think those those, those uh, three three parts I follow up. The 8, 9, and 10. Okay. 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 All right. And I'll try to drop more questions on that uh understanding integers more all right yes okay so next yeah. friday next friday we meet at five o'clock right no four let's do let's leave it at four please you want it at four because i'm working i work that 